We're really excited to have uh, 2010 Anderson High School graduate, now current NFL player Greg Manns with us here today at the uh, 2017 alumni golf outing here for Anderson. So welcome back, Greg. Yeah, it's, it's good to be back. I was happy to come last year. I'm happy to come this year. Absolutely. Well, we appreciate your support. So let's uh, rewind about seven years and then we'll come fast forward here. So what do you remember as, um, you know, of course, being one of the most prolific and most decorated offensive linemen ever to walk through the Anderson Redskin uh, or Anderson High School halls. What do you remember about your your uh, time on the team? You know, uh, it was really sort of the group of guys that we hung out with. You know, I'm here with a couple of teammates from my grade. And, uh, you know, we had a good run. We won states my sophomore year, unfortunately we lost my junior year. And uh, my senior year, you know, we, we did great. And then unfortunately we fell short, just short of elder. But, uh, you know, it was a great group of guys and uh, guys that, you know, that really cared about football and sort of, you know, helped me create my love for it. Absolutely. So you graduated in 2010. You moved on to the University of Toledo. Uh, proud alum up there. And, or, or, and, and, and tell us about your career there at Toledo. Yeah. So um, I love the Rockets. Still do to this day. Um, I actually got a call from my coach. I was up with uh, Zeke Carell, the next yep. a great offensive lineman from Anderson. We were up at a camp at Mount St. Joe. But uh, my first year I redshirted, I started the next four years. Uh, started, I think, and they said 50, 51 games, something like that. I missed one in the middle. Um, but I played right guard, right tackle, and center. Um, I was second team All-American, conference player of the year, and first team All-Mac two years. I mean, I was gonna say, I know you had lots of accolades and, and uh, you know, awards for your time at Toledo. And then uh, tell us a little bit about your experience after college. Sure. Your, you know, the draft or, or however that played out. So um, I went to the East-West Ryan game. Uh, I was projected to be a late day two guy, you know, and uh, unfortunately my shoulder got sort of wrenched out of place. I uh, had a pretty uh, serious surgery, so I fell out of the draft. I did get a chance to go to the combine, which was fun. Um, never would do it again. 4 a.m. <laughs> 4 a.m. Uh, urine drug test is not the way to go, especially the big day, you know, 20 hours. But, uh, you know, I wouldn't trade that experience in the world. And fortunately enough, you know, after the draft, I got a call from the uh, Houston Texans and they said, listen, man, we're not guaranteeing you anything except for an opportunity to play. And that's all I could really ask for. And so now you fast forward to 2017, you started as the starting center for the Houston Texans in, in, in this past year. How awesome and how exciting. You know, it was it was neat. I sort of, uh, you know, my first year ended sort of shortly uh, due to an injury again, which sort of sucked. But, um, you know, this past year, I got a, a chance to actually uh, until the Super Bowl, I had the most plays in the NFL. Oh, that's so, awesome. Uh, yeah, it was really neat. I missed two plays the whole year. And I really had an opportunity to sort of get my foot in the door. So, you know, even if in the long run a different team wants to get me, I have some film out there. You know, and, and just, to, just to kind of wrap things up here, I think it is so cool, and we're a little bit selfish as, as you know, members of the Anderson community, but we have two offensive linemen from Anderson High School that are starting in the NFL, and neither of you ended up being drafted, but you're starting offensive linemen and you're good at your your jobs and and you and both you and of course we're talking about Andrew Norwell mm -hmm. and I think that is so it makes me so proud yeah. just I mean all I do is announce on the PA and I'm like that is awesome to think that we got two former players that I used to watch on Friday nights and even watched you on Saturdays in, in college and now you guys are, are starters and, and star players in the NFL so that's got to be pretty cool you know it, it's really neat because uh, I think that speaks almost to Matt Sanger what he did for ah, us you know yeah. because uh, um, you know, that's sort of a rarity, especially, you know, our high school, you know, it has a great tradition, but it hasn't necessarily had necessarily the luck of the NFL. And the fact that you have two in the same same class on really the same position is really special. And, you know, Andrew's a special player, too. So it's, it's really neat to be able to play. Absolutely. And we'll, we'll wrap it up here. Uh, Greg, I just want to let you know, first of all, from all of us here at Anderson, we wish you nothing but the most success. Um, we're super excited to see Andrew make the Super Bowl a couple years ago. We'd love nothing more yeah. than to watch you uh, in the Super Bowl as well and, and maybe come away with that championship ring. Maybe we'll play each other. Who knows? That would be awesome. Yeah, but thanks be. so much for being here. That's It's really cool that you were, you were able to fit it into your busy schedule uh, to be able to come here and support the uh, tradition of Anderson High School and the Anderson Redskins that, that uh, meant so much to you Absolutely. back when you went here. So thanks so much for being here. Absolutely. All right. Thanks a lot.